Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are this is new to. And today I'm going to be looking at just a kind of fun deck that I've been playing around with now that uh, the ranked season's pretty much over. I don't see much point in in playing, you know, looking for looking for new stuff like tournament ready lists or anything like that until we get the full details of what's going to be out in the core set and set for. So at the moment it's just mucking about, it's a bit of fun. And uh, one new hero's caught my eye for a bit of fun, and that is the hero Kuitu. So, let's just have a look at this, shall we? Um, so this is my Kuitu deck here, and just for those who don't know what she does. Um, ability, draw one card face up. If it's a lightning card, we can deal one damage to our opponent. And she's got superior lightning. So that's pretty cool. That means that we can keep pressure on. By drawing cards, we can always deal one damage if we're just going to pass one. We might as well use her ability. So knowing that we kind of have an ability deck like that, we are going to use cards in our deck that are going to reward us for using these abilities. But first, let's have a look at our combos. So we have Crushing Rapids, which is probably one of the best Storm combos from set 3. Um, 5 healing, and we can remove all buffs from other heroes, so that's really good. Thunder Slug's really good, but it's a bit slow. Crushing Rapids can clear the board quickly if your opponent is using things like Sicario, using cards that are going to generate a lot of buffs very quickly, so we like that. Lightning Storm, um, I just like that card. It's Lightning, first of all. I just want to try to throw as many Lightning cards as I could at it. 4-4-4, um, four, four, four. it's actually pretty good, you know. Um, sometimes it can really catch your opponent out, especially if they've thrown away their buff removal early. Overload, that's pretty good. Double Lightning again. Um, and of course, we got Crushing Rapids, so that's an expensive one. I wanted to use something that um, that kind of looked a little bit like Kuitu there. So we got five healing, five damage to our target, and then we can draw two cards. That's pretty cool. Uh, and it's one of each, which is useful because that plays right into Storm Strike, which is another good set three combo where we can deal nine damage and move a combo card from our deck to our hand. So that is really good as well. In fact, that's probably equal contender between that and Crushing Rapids. For the my combo of Storm in... Right, so let's go straight to the action cards, because that's where it really is. Um, first things first, we're using abilities. We want Abyss Tentacle, so it's really good. Uh, we can deal two damage to your target when you perform an ability, and as the centers play, gain one additional action if you have another Shadow Buff in play. So that's really nifty, because that means that once we get one out, we can play the others, and it doesn't really affect our turn. So that's cool. We run Run Crackling Beast to move our Thunder Slug. Two Heroic Starfish, just for a little bit of heal. Three Living Cloud, because it's amazing. Three Mantix Volters, because we can use that ability, draw one card, deal two damage, deal damage with the Abyss Tentacles, then we're still free to use Kuitu's ability as well. So use her ability, draw one card, deal the damage with the Abyss Tentacles as well, and maybe the one extra one if we draw a Lightning. Two Shade Rippers. Obviously three Spark Wisps. Two Storm Shamans, because that works really well with Abyss Tentacle as well, because you can go into Mantix Volta, Storm Shaman, Abyss Tentacle, and then it just gets mental. Uh, two Tantosian Blacksmith, just because we normally I wouldn't run 2-2, two, two, but we just really need these items quick if this deck's ever going to work, so... Three Therapeutic Kill because it's a great draw card. Three Thunder Slug. Three Vitalizing Frog for heal. And that is the deck. So uh, I'm hoping that we can get some good games in here. And yeah, just kind of show that we can have a little bit of fun with Light Seekers as well. Um, not every deck has to be like hyper aggro like Selene or Zuna or like hyper stall like... You know, like General Carnage Mill, or like Triano, or, um, do you know, Reefy before it was edited. Do you know, we can have some fun as well with our decks. Um, and of course, now's the time. If there's ever going to be a time for you to just build a crazy deck, just jump onto casual and just play, it's now. So I'd really recommend doing that. Um, all right, and we're ready for our first game. Oh, let's just hope I don't get flattened here by uh, <laughs> by someone on casual who's uh, who's running like a tier one deck. So let's see. Don't know though. I think post rotation, um, Kuitu might have the might have what it takes to do it. Let's have a look. All right, this is a pretty good opening hand here, especially if we're up against Dread. 
She's got a cool ability, the Undying. Well, that is a pain in the butt. Is she from set, set one? Yeah. Don't really see the need to lay down the Thunder Slug at the moment. So I think we're just going to put down the Mantix Volta. And here we go. All right, now we're rocking here. Now we are really rocking. So I think he's going to pass two here. Yeah. It's a typical dread play, really. Right, so first things first, we will remove. I mean, we've got a little bit of fun here because we, we're playing with two slugs in our hand. I think we're just going to put the pressure on. You know, we're going to say, look, he's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to shadow puppet if he's got it. So let's just see if he does. It's unusual. That is an unusual play there. Um, maybe he just wanted the heal to you know, keep high and forge wall. All right, okay. No, we don't want to use Queetu's ability. We want to use our Mantic Volta's ability. And I think I wish we had some Abyss Tentacles really to play around with here, but you know we'll just have to make do for the moment. He'll pass again. Oh, this thing is a real pain. This Fallen Guardian card. Um, can see there he's just checking out my uh i think just because it stops the abyss tentacles from going and it's like i have to waste two turns and to be honest it's not worth using a thunder slug on it so now it's like see if we're going to double pass which we are going to do we might as well oh. okay we've got a big play here but really i need I need like the Tantosian and stuff like that. I don't really care about this. Draws a total of two or more cards a turn. Oh, this is a pain. I don't really want them to heal, but I need the draw. But they've only got a few cards left, so they're not going to be able to play a big combo. Straight up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. He's got the Forge Wall active now, and that's a bit of a pain. Um, he may even have a Tyrax Fixer in hand. So we're just going to ditch that. We don't want that. Next up. Ah. Uh. Well, that's fine. I, I don't know why you would have... This card here, because I think what we're going to do is we're just going to hit that. Uh, but Forge Wall is totally shutting us down here. Um, I think what we'll do is we will hit Overload now, because we can hit a big bit of damage. Um, and I think they're really playing out their hand. They're totally overextending. Um... So I think we can just punish this a little bit. So I think we're just going to hit overload, get them down to eight. And then we'll just see what we can do after that. Here we go. So we've got another Mantix Volta. It's a nice combo and forward wall and stuff. I 
guess it doesn't really matter, does it? In fact, I'm not going to use his ability since... Um, This is really cheesy here. I just like, I, I totally. Uh, here we go. Let's get some ramp going for the goodness sake. Spin blade. It's total cheese. All right, what have I got here? Um, I think I might just pass two here and just um, next turn. This guy's just gonna cheese it out, and like, I just think this is just total gimmick. It's just pure gimmick. Like, why would you pass? Why would you use an action to uh, to heal one? It's <laughs> it's just like it's like total madness. Um, there we go. Let's get that out. Goodbye, fallen guardian. Fortunately, living cloud is really. Not too good. <laughs> to be honest, Spin Blade wouldn't be a bad shout in this either, really. Um... There we go. Um, still need some wind though. Total waste. I don't know what this note you guys doing. I think this is. So I think next time I'm going to hit him with the heroic starfish and the living cloud, and then just the spark wisp, really, and we'll see what we can do. Actually, maybe I'm just tempted just to hit the therapeutic eel here. I think he's used one, two. Two shadow puppets. So that's doing four. Five, six, seven. Well, we've got game anyway, so. So 
So there we go, we see Onochi there, and I can see he's kind of created some grindy, undying deck. Didn't really do very much. Um, I don't know why you'd want to play something like that, to be honest, but... There we go. So that's one. Let's open the loot real quick, see what we have. Nice. And I think we'll just go right into another game. And we'll just see. Hopefully we can get something better here. I think when someone tanks a lot of their a lot of their buff removal too early game, I think we're gonna see our abyssal tentacles get hit quite hard. I don't think there's a way to really bring them back, so I think sometimes I just like to play them sparingly, like one at a time, stuff like that. So, you know, like one Abyssal Technical, one Storm Shaman, one Man Six Volta. And uh, that's the kind of play that I like. I think really, I mean, that Undying deck would have been totally overrun by... Um, I, I, Forge Wall and Spin Blade it just seemed a bit nuts to me. Alright, we are up against... Dolo, so this is going to be quite a tough deck for us to play against, really. Um, but if we can just stave off some of the big attacks, we might be alright. Right, okay, let's hit this guy with the Living Cloud. Well, he's got no buffs. And go from there. Okay, we've got some heals in our hands, so that's pretty lucky. Um, okay, we don't have to worry about that Prism Cannon for couple of turns. Ancient Miner as well. Do I even want to give him draw support? Never give draw support. So yeah, we're just going to get rid of that right now. And I think we're just going to get that right up. Do you know, I've got this kind of feeling that I might just hit Lightning Storm straight up. I'm almost hoping that he uses a Crystal Leech on this. No, he's missed it. Okay. So yeah, we'll definitely get rid of that Prism Cannon. I think we'll just do it. Let's just see what... See, does he have the leech? No. He has got a reduced damage received though, so. Sorry, we're <laughs> chipping away from him for one. Um, so I guess to an extent we've both been playing. Oh no, ah, oh, that's annoying. Just the way this will work out. I want to play down Storm Shaman, but I don't have... Hmm. You'd think with the lightning cards, I can hit 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Storm Strike. This is fine, we've got, <laughs> we've got Double Thunder Slug in our hand, so... I think we'll be alright. Right, he's still got the damage, so I think we're just gonna end our turn here. Pfft, bloody hell. Okay, right, right, I can't ignore this now. I have to lay down Thunder Slug. We will get rid of Dragon Scorcher. I think we will just draw three cards here. Now, has he made that play too early? First thing first. Let's hit the Shade Ripper from the deck.
Um, still got two actions left, so let's heal. Let's get down one Storm Shaman. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So we're going to go this. Mantix Volta. Let's see. Did he draw another Crystal Leech or not? No, but <laughs> he's freaking out now. He's going to be digging for it. I don't believe it. I'd really, really, really like to show you guys. Um, I'd really like to show you guys this combo, but do you know? I mean, we, we've seen now these guys in less than uh, how many cards left? Look, he's only had nine cards and he's hit two leeches. I just can't even. <laughs> I just can't even believe it. Um, what do I want to do here? Do I even want to? Yeah. Well, look, we've got game here. Unless he's like Boulder Feasts or something. He can't put down a Mountain Fort. Because um, we'll kill it. That's it. Good game, and we'll just hit the geese for nine. And we win again. But you know, we really had to, he really had to hit that leech. Otherwise, I would have um, Manic forward for six, Abyss Tentacle for six, used her ability for another six. I'd have done 18 damage that turn. Um, of course, her ability doesn't get increased by um, Storm Shaman, but the Abyss Tentacle does that triggers from her ability. So it was, <laughs> it just would have been such a good turn. <laughs> so we can just apply, we can just apply big pressure um, as we go along. So let's play one more, just so that we can, uh, <laughs> we can hope to see this combo off. Otherwise, people are like, nope, hell no, it, it just isn't happening. Um, people just don't want to let it go off. But that's fine, because if they're going to spend all their time and resource trying to stop us from doing a small part of our combo deck, we still have a lot of lightning cards, and we still have a lot of aggro cards to play around with. Um... Now the dread, there is dread aplenty um, currently. I th I'm finding. Um... Hello, Eunice. Do you know? What? I think we're just going to go ahead and pass two here. Next time we got the slug. Got a feeling you'll pass two. Um, I just think that he'll just. You'll just see that I've passed to know that it's going to be a flat. No, nope. he's going to use an FS. <laughs> These things, man. Oh my god. Don't do this. Please, if you're watching, don't waste an action to heal one. It's just not worth it. It's just totally, totally not worth it. Um. And you'll find like what that guy did, only she did, you'll have no cards left in hand because you're just throwing your your actions away to heal for one. Oh, God. Well. 
So I think we're just going to play down Mantic's Volta here. And we'll just hit the ability. Here we go. So now, not only is my ability negating this Abyss Weaver's ability, um, so she's wasting an action. So she's only playing one action a turn now. I'm playing two. Uh, if I can deal the one point of damage to her. Here we go. Ideally, I'd like to see another... Another buff come down. Um... Oh, that's not bad to get another therapeutic heal out of that. I think this is a bit weird, but I think in the long run there's going to be more of a pain. I think knowing I've got slug, yeah, they'll just pass. I think we'll hit them with a Spark Wisp. It's almost tempted to hit them with Overload, but I just I think we're just a bit too early on in the game at the moment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we can start playing this game. Another binary per fine. Sneaky Creeple, great. First Blacksmith. Yep, thin our deck. Get those items out. That's lovely. Abyss Tentacle, down. Almost tempted to play the other thunder slug and just stop, just stop the heal. Depends if he puts down another buff or not. Oh, okay. So I go down to fifteen. He goes up to eighteen. Mm, I don't know. I still think we're. I still think we're in an alright position here. I think next turn I'm just going to put down Mantic's Volta and Abyss Tentacle again. Now let's kind of do it one at a time here. I almost... A couple of living clouds, useful. Um, I kind of wanted to play down another buff. Just get the max out. Oh my god, another shadow puppet. Again, in top 10 cards. Just like, what is this? What is this madness that is going on? Um, I'll just play that Mantic's Volta then. Here we go. ability. So, I mean, I've got a... To increase this by plus two to eight, nine, ten,
Okay, so unless this dude can kind of finish me off here, I think we're going to be alright. I think we're going to be okay. I mean... Let's just overload him. Thank you, Eunice. Good game. And that is the deck. So you can see it's quite fun. Um, your opponents will target down those abyss tentacles, but if you can play it kind of right, it doesn't really matter. Um, we do have the big combo plays. I wish I could have shown you a combo play, but it just wasn't going to happen today. So thank you very much. And if always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you very much. I've been you too.